Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out at midnight, the tide's just coming up. We've got about two pound of logworm and we're going for anything, so stay tuned. We're gonna fish through the early morning, some of the best times for fishing, and hopefully we get a nice mixed bag. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We've got some prime bait today. Check these out. Lovely blow log. There's some white ragworm in there somewhere as well. And I've got a little aerator and ice packs in the side. Keeps it lovely and fresh. And in here, I've got razor clam, peeler crab, and a few other bits. We've also got some squid down there. We've got three rods today, which I'm going to be trying. Some of the Watson lures is nice enough to make me some. It's like handmade feathers. I've used these on the last trip, and they were amazing. Nice sharp hooks. I've got a load of other rigs as well. And through tonight, an early morning, we'll see what we can catch. It's like a sheet of glass out here today. What a lovely night to be out. Crystal clear water, not a breath of wind, and hopefully we can get some fish. We are out at the spot guys. It's not far from my mooring because it's pitch black. I don't want to go too far on the boat. But now we've got two rods out with uh, one up one down rigs on, size one hooks baited up with logworm then on this one i've got some feathers and they're all baited up as well with squid and logworm as well so i'm expecting bass tonight look at that straight away we had fish biting straight away guys that's what we want to see what's it gonna be oh look at that could have expected these tonight little baby whip it's hooked nicely, so that's going to come off nice. It's one species of the night so far. Not the species we want. Got fish on here, guys. And it's the first bream of the day. Not a bad bream, that. And as always, we've got the congas. That's the only problem with the only problem with night time. You get those congas, it's an absolute nightmare. But at least we've got a bream, the first bream of the night, and it's a decent one. We'll chuck that in the cooler, and hopefully that's a sign of things to come. It's been really slow until that sun started coming up. Another black bream down. This one has swallowed the hook, but that's biggest of the day by a long way. That's a beautiful eating sized bream, that. I'm gonna try and get this hook out, and we we'll get him in the cooler. Another one down. That's the stamp we want, nice big ones. Come on, what is it? Feels like a bream. Feels like a better one as well. We're definitely starting to hook up the bigger bream now. Look at that. Beauty. That literally just hit the bottom, that, that line. And it went off. So it looks like the fish are on the feed. Hopefully one of these goes off. This one was getting bites a minute ago. Very nice. Beautiful bream. Can't be early morning, just slamming into some fish. The bream have come into force now, and there's a lot of them. And they're a decent size as well. Not too many small ones. Well, they're not huge, but they're big enough for me to keep, that's for sure. Lovely fish. So the sun's been up for about, about 30 minutes now. And look at that and we before it we were in here at the night time for two hours and had absolutely nothing it just shows sunrise sunset if you hit it right you'll get the fish oh very nice two for the price of one <laughs> Loads of fish, baby! Bit more weight to this fish, unless there's two there, maybe. Oh no, it's just the one. Some really good size for these. That one's foul hooked, and we got another one on the other rod. <laughs> They're coming in thick and fast, the bream today. Nice. What a lovely stamp of fish. Bit small, that one. This, this one's going. Yeah, another fish on. Mm. 
what an absolute stunning day this has turned out to be. We've got zero wind. And we're catching plenty of fish. We're starting to load off on these bigger bream now. As you can see, really decent size. That's what I'm after. Hopefully, we can fill the cooler. And then soon, we'll be going out through the crab pots. And while we're talking, there's a bite on this rod. Gotta love the scrap on bream. I must have caught about 40 bream by now. And they never get old. And they're all around this size, about the pound and a half mark. And that's perfect landing size for me. So the more I can get, the merrier. <laughs> Beautiful. They've slowed down a little bit, but I'm gonna be changing spots soon. And then we'll, uh, we'll go do the pots later on. What a fun, enjoyable day. So calm, so peaceful. And we're hooking into fish. That's what it's all about. Hey! The reds have shown up. E beauty! A <laughs> little baby red mullet there. That's more like it. I've been after one of these. I thought I'd get them in the night time, but just shows early morning we got one. Not a monster by any means, but we've got another fish biting on here. Yeah, another fish on. Oh, this one's going well. This one's going really well. <laughs> you can't beat fishing like this. Just mixed bag for whatever you can. Come on. Let's see what this is. This feels a bit better fish, this one. Oh, there's two. Oh, lovely big bream on the bottom one. Oh, oh he's off. Big bream is off. No. That was a beauty. That was a big bream at the bottom there. That was a two pounder, easy. Got it. There you go. Little baby red mullet. And I let that go. It's a bit small to land that one, so you can go back for another day and hopefully we get his big brother. Feels like a better fish on the mini rod. Look at it go. <laughs> Such great sport and light tackle. Oh, look at that guy. Come on, big boy. Is there one or two? Oh, there's two. That's white. And these are big bream around here as well. Really nice bream. Look at those. Double shot. Beautiful big bream. There we go. Look at that. Big buster, that one. Biggest one of the day. Oh, yeah. Other rod's gone. Yeah, baby. Keep catching more fish. Ah, oh, it's probably my one of my favorite forms of fishing this. Just going out with a load of log worms, squid, and just absolutely caning them. It's another double shot. Oh yeah, lovely big green. Look at that. Another double shot down. There you go guys, cracking bream that, beautiful sized fish, that's the bream we want, they're getting loads around the pound and a half mark, that's about a pound and three quarters, this one's going off, and I've got two on the deck. We're starting to run out of bait a bit here guys, I've got probably about half a pound of log worm left, and I'm completely out of squid, I've gone through a whole box of dirty squid, and these things have absolutely loved it. Look at that. All about pound, pound and a half fish in there. And there's loads of them. So I'll go land those later. So what my plan is, I'm going to fish until my bait's gone. Because these fish are relentless at the moment. And hopefully we get some lobsters in the lobster pots. Not much fight on this fish. But there's some weight there. I don't know if I foul hooked it maybe. 
and find out. Oh, there's two on there, that's why. Oh, and they're big bream as well. Like every bream I'm pulling off is around the pound and a half more. Look at that. Just beautiful sized fish. And they are everywhere. I'm only in a tiny little gap of the bay. And bream are all around the whole area at the moment. It's lovely to see such a big stamp of them. The bream have completely switched off now, guys. It's funny, as fast as they come in, they soon leave. We might have about 15 kilos in the cooler and that'll go to my customers. And all I need now is a few lobsters. So what I'm gonna do is take my jumper off. I'm gonna go get my pot bait out my dinghy and we're gonna go lobstering. Hopefully we can get some decent lobsters, but if not, we'll come back to the bream fishing later and maybe even try for a bass, red mullet, or anything else we can find. So stay tuned. The finest quality of mouldy crab pot bait right there. <laughs> Plenty bait, stinking to high heaven. Let's go get some lobsters. Right, first thing of the day. This is only a single pot, this one. I just stuck it behind the, uh, the store pot because there's a big reef here. So fingers crossed, we can get one. They've had about a seven day soak now in these pots, so they've had a decent soak. I baited them up really well as well, so fingers crossed we have a good day. That's a lobster. Oh, there's two lobsters in there. Very nice. That might be a keeper. First grab pot. One little Larry. We're going to measure that. And that one there, that's in about three or four millimetres, that. For first pot, first keeper lobster. That's not bad going at all, that. We'll get this one baited up, guys. And we'll move on to the next one. We've got one keeper, one pot. I'm chirping with that. Nice keeper lobster there. Beautiful. Let's get on to the next ones. Oh wow. That's a very pale lobster. Check that lobster out. Look how pale that is. That's a very white lobster. Cool to see, we call him Casper. Yeah, we got a crab. Guys. Nice. There you go. That's what I put the pots out here for. Only one crab, not a monster, but plenty of meat in that, that's for sure. Nice solid crab, got keel worms on it. Nice. Hopefully we can get a few more like that. Another nice crab there, guys, but it's a lantern. If you feel underneath, you can push it, and if it gives, it's a lantern. Also, the weight of it, you can feel as well. So they always go back. No lobsters in that one. A little lobster. Little lobster and little brown crabs. Little female, that one. Ooh, 
Ooh, keeper! Lovely lobster. Look at that. Beauty of a lobster, that one. No point measuring it, it's well in. Happy with that. Bit small that brown crab, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna let that go. Come on, you Larry. Look at that little beauty. Don't really get lobsters that small usually. <laughs> cool to see. That's a keeper. Very nice. That's better. Nice keeper there. Little baby male brown crab. Definitely a little lobster. Oh, and a nice one as well, I think. That might be a keeper. Oh, it's going to be close to that one. That one's out, that one. We've got another little one there. Just out as well. Nice to see so many small ones. Right, let's go see if we can find my lost string. So there you go, that's the lobster out of those pots, guys. And check this out. One eye socket, it's out by about a millimeter. On the other eye socket, it's in legal size so in my terms i'm going to put this back but it just shows it's always best like if it's close check both eyes because it is a really 50 50. all right two lobsters down hopefully we can find that other string so there you go guys that's today's catch i found my other string in the end it had one little uh little stubby lobster so we have three lobsters in the end, 25 bream, all really good stamp of bream as well. Lovely big fish. And that's what we want to see. What an awesome little trip this has been. We've got a brown crab as well. Makes for an enjoyable little fishing trip. So I'll see you in the kitchen for a nice old cooker. We are back in the kitchen, guys. We've picked our crab and our lobster. There's some delicious shell pasta, chorizo sausage, and a few other ingredients. I'm gonna make some delicious crab and lobster pasta. I've just got some water boiling at the moment. I've got loads of sea salt in there. And we're just gonna cook our pasta up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get the olive oil out and start cooking up our sauce. A nice big onion here. I'm gonna finely chop this, but not too fine. I do wanna have a little bit of bite from the onion. This will give the sauce a lovely smoky flavour. Beautiful. Beautiful. So there we go. We'll get these fried up guys. And what we're going to do is add some Guernsey butter, some garlic, black pepper, oregano, some lemon. And then we'll finish it off with some double cream 
and then our seafood. As you can see, the claws are gone from this meat because while we were picking it, me and Smash had a great time. <laughs> so we're limited on crab and lobster today because we've eaten a little bit, but he helped me pick it, so he deserves a little bit. He Smash. So we got our onions and our chorizo sausage going in. All we're going to do is just sweat down these onions. Get that chorizo flavour in there. We're going to add some oregano. Some black pepper. About half a teaspoon of garlic. And just a little squeeze of lemon. So what I'm gonna do is let that all get whittled down now, get all that flavour mixed in. And then we'll add a nice dollop of butter and our cream. Just gonna add just a little bit of chili flake just to give it that little bit of heat. Not too much though. And that there, once we start adding the sauce, once we start adding the cream, it's gonna taste absolutely amazing. As you can see guys, this is all sweat down nicely now. So what I'm gonna do, is just add another dollop of butter. I'll turn the heat down now, and we'll start adding Delicious double cream. Just gonna keep stirring this until it's all blended in nicely. It's gonna be a delicious little pasta sauce for our crab and lobster. the final step to our sauce now all that crab and lobster in there look at that that's what you want a thin sauce with big chunks of crab and lobster my favorite time of cooking pasta just gonna get my pasta and dump it straight into the sauce I'm cooking for two of us today my father-in-law wants some so gotta make two And it's only fitting that we use shell pasta just to be a little bit more fancy. Why not? And there we go. Delicious shell pasta and a crab and lobster cream sauce. Oh, look at that. And like you can see, all of the sauce is sticking to the pasta nicely. So that's why you want it a little bit thick. Not too thick, but just enough where it will it will coat everything nicely. You have some perfect pasta. Oh yeah, look at that pasta, guys. Delicious. I'll probably be able to feed about four people with this. But I'm gonna have a nice big bowl full. There we go. And one for my father-in-law as well. Delicious bit of pasta. Look at the big chunks of crab and lobster in that. Oh yeah, that's to die for right there. And just for a few finishing touches, I have a little bit of lemon around there, a couple of pieces of lobster on top. Same for me. And that right there looks delicious. Let's sit down and tuck into this bad boy. That looks amazing. Oh yeah, I've been looking forward to this. My mouth's been watering the whole time I've been cooking it. 
got to get big chunks of crab, the chorizo sausage. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about there. Quite spicy actually. But quite a lot of um, chilli flakes in it, I didn't realise. But I'm happy with a bit of spice. Get that chunk of lobster on there. Look at that. Oh, what a bite. Mm. Get that lemon over the top. This would be absolutely amazing with a bit of garlic bread, freshly homemade garlic bread. That would be the icing on the cake, that would. Fun little trip though. I wanted to get some bream to go and sell. Obviously I've got a commercial license now, so I want to start making videos of actually catching fish and I'll show you how I get rid of them and stuff like that. Make a little bit of interesting content and obviously we'll have our cook-ups as well. Delicious, but yeah, it was an interesting trip. In the night time, we were just, I was catching whip after whip, like little baby congas. And as soon as the daylight appeared, just on the horizon, the bream just came in in force, you know? I think we had about 15 kilos. Mm. And then in the pots, I haven't been doing very well in the pots lately. My average is about three in 21 pots, which is not that great. But for summer, when there's so many people, like the uh, pleasure anglers and stuff, that all got pots out, everywhere has just got a lot of crab pots. So once they come out of the water, you'll find that lobsters move out and they start moving around a bit more. Mmm. That is so delicious. This is highly recommended, guys. Even with fish, this would be great. Or cockles. I might do something like this with clams one day. That's delicious, I reckon. Mmm. So I won't leave the video any longer, guys. I just wanted to do a little cook-up. Uh, I've been craving some nice crab and lobster pasta, so I had the perfect opportunity on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you want any merch, guys, the link's in the description. There's always new stuff going up there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's going to be plenty more to come. Let's smash fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm.